Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. It's Indigo here at Indigo Goddess 1111. Um, I am here to do a special February um, channeled message um, video for you guys. I'm doing you guys first because you by far had the most views, likes, comments, and shares to my last channel message video. So, Virgos, what is going on with my Virgos? Um, when I was channeling messages earlier for you guys, I kept seeing the number three. So when I see the number three, that to me is expanding in a whole new area of your life, expanding your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. You are going to, if you have not already come into a huge spiritual awakening, um, you are going to take the time to self heal, to reflect on your life, your relationships, um, you're really going to take a step back from the world and figure out who you are. Um, you have finally come to the realization that you cannot offer anything to anyone else in a relationship, um, in your family, your kids, anybody, until you figure you out. Um, during this time, you are going to get massive downloads you are going to come out a whole different person. So a group of you could be feeling an energy shift already. Um, yeah, you really just are ready to drop the whole Seven of Swords energy. You have been sneaking around for far too long. And I'm not just talking about like, with love, like you have hidden parts of your life from everybody, from different groups of people. Like this group of people know you as this person, this group of people know you as this person. And it's gotten so exhausting and so mind numbing that you are ready to put that energy down. For another group of you, you are acting like the Seven of Swords energy with relationships. You are also tired of that. You are going to finally decide which direction you're going to go, who you're going to let go of. You are at a major crossroads. For a certain group of you, you are with a karmic partner and are having a hard time letting them go. Or they're having a hard time letting you go. You, however, have come in contact with your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever you want to use as a term, and you can't get this person out of your mind. I see you spending tonight, Valentine's Day, with your karmic partner, but your mind is somewhere else, on someone else. I do see you with the new moon energies coming tomorrow. You're going to move away from this karmic partner. You are going to step out of your comfort zone, Virgos, which is huge for a Virgo. You are going to come forward with the truth about this other person. You are going to be truthful to yourself and you are going to move in a very positive direction. For another group of you, you have blocked this person. You have blocked this twin flame soulmate. You have cut off contact with them. You, and I'm seeing for at least a month, if not two. But you are going to reach out to them and hope for the best. You are finally facing your fears, Virgo. Congratulations. Because in this time of you and your Seven of Swords energy, 
you have how do I want to put this? You have let everyone else control your life. You have let everybody else tell you what you want. You have let everyone else tell you how you feel, who you should be with, where you should live, what kind of job you should have, what you eat for supper. Like you have been the You have been living your life for somebody else instead of you. But it's time to do what makes you happy and what brings you harmony, what brings you peace and balance and true love. I'm not saying this karmic partner does not love you, Virgos, but I'm talking about the divine relationship the relationship of all relationships. It's sitting there waiting for you. What are you waiting for? This person has a control over you. <clears throat> kind of like they have the upper hand on you. You feel like they have information about you or they know something about you that could be detrimental, like in a divorce or in court or with the law. Um, but secrets are going to come out and it's all going to be exposed anyways. So so it's okay. It's okay to go. You're going to make a choice for go between now and I'd say mid March. Whether it's a choice to stay, to go, or to not do anything. It's all a choice. But for the majority of you, you're choosing to go. You are going to go find that twin flame that you shared the most amazing connection with. The most intense emotion and love and fun and adventure and abundance that you've ever felt in your life. You're going back out there and you're going to go get that. You're going to get the courage. You're going to realize that this other person has no hold over you. You're going to realize that if your family loves you, truly loves you, that they will, they will love you no matter what choice you make. Because right now they're guilting you into being where you're at. And they're doing it because... Up to this point, you have always led them. For Virgos, for you dealing with another earth sign, whether it be a Virgo as well, or a Capricorn or Taurus, you're going to... You're going to come to terms with the why they were there. I'm getting for a group of you, they were there for financial support, for, for somebody to take care of them, kind of, and not really cared if you were there or not. You're going to realize that, that there's somebody out there that's going to love you and appreciate you and treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. So overall, Virgo, for the month of February into the beginning of March, your love life is going to take a whole new turn for the better. You're going to set that seven aside, seven of swords energy aside. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Um, you are going to let what happened in the dark come to light. You are going to face this crossroads in your life head on. And you are going to finally take the direction in love that you have wanted to take for a long time. You're going to face your fear. You are going to become so overabundant in every area of your life. 
this new start, this fresh start, I see you moving or them relocating to you, but you are going to, for a group of you, I see you moving. They are at a distance, could be an hour away, could be a state away, um, but you are relocating. This is going to bring you a new job, a new home with a blended family, and true happiness, true wealth in a non-monetary form. You are going to look at life a whole new way. You are going to get out of this depressed energy, this depressed state, this feeling held down, held back. You're going to break free of that. You are going to face your fears and you are going to be successful. So with that on Valentine's Day, I want to thank you, Virgo, for coming to my channel and allowing me to read your energy, channel your messages, and be the first to tell you congratulations because you are going to be so very successful. So with that, I wish you a very beautiful February and I will see you next month. Lots of love and God bless.